Pretty much all of the really cool feature parts of this studio were not here when we moved in. It was just an empty brick cement space, and this wall is no exception. We are so excited to give you guys a tour today, so let's just jump on into it. Hello, hello, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. We are the Sorry Girls, and welcome to our office. We are a design and DIY duo and we run all of our operations out of here. We film everything for our YouTube channel and produce all other content that we make out of this space. Mm -hmm. We are so excited to give you guys a tour today, so let's just jump on into it. All right, so in here is kind of the seating living room. We got these new couches recently and they're one of the best finds that we ever found secondhand online. We took the legs off and it made them instantly so much cooler and they're such a statement piece for this little seating area. Yeah, they were only $800 for four pieces, which is a pretty good steal. This little pillow, a viewer made for us and we love it so much. This is our logo, which is a rose and a screwdriver. I mean, it's hand beaded and we cherish it a lot. <laughs> and this is Danny, our office dog. He is my border collie and comes to work with me like almost every day. Good for morale in office. I'm very dog friendly here. Over here is our custom neon sign we had made. This is our logo and it's a really cool statement piece when people come in. It's like the first thing they see and I love it. Moving on to our boardroom. That sounds way too fancy for like <laughs> who we actually are. But we definitely do a lot of work around this table. Usually you'll find a couple of us working. Something that's really interesting is that we have two garage doors in this space, one of them being right here. And when you open the garage door, we couldn't attach a pendant centered over the table because the garage door obviously like cuts off the ceiling. So we did this effect where it's actually a long pole hanging from two points, but because of the weight disbursement, it hangs level. And this was a totally uh, DIY to pendant light situation. <laughs> Speaking of DIYs, basically this, this whole office is made of DIY projects that we've done over the years and now exist online as DIY tutorials. And one of them is this sideboard. We got this piece for literally free secondhand online and we gave it a total makeover, added this timbre strip all the way around the sides, painted it black, and now it's a beautiful statement piece in here that holds some bar supplies, but mm -hmm. honestly, just a lot of like office paperwork stuff that we're not gonna show you. <laughs> Speaking of timbre, we have a lot of that back in the entranceway, so let's head on over there. Ha! So in here, we did a timbre just to spice up this area. Um, Becky actually built these benches that you could sit on, put your shoes on. Um, and of course we have some hooks here as well as a whole coat rack here for those winter months and we all have coats. <laughs> um, in here is nothing too special. This is just like our, our cleaning supply closet. Storage was definitely an issue in here because when we moved in, it was just one giant open space. So we did build a storage room and then anything else we kind of had to add. So hence this, but I think we made it blend in pretty nicely. Okay, let me show you the workshop next. But on your way, you'll notice these fun features. These are actually bike hooks. So if you come to the office and you ride your bike here, you can hang it up on the hook, which is great. It gets it out of the way. Plus it helps encourage uses of bikes around the city, which we love. So in here is the formal studio of the whole <laughs> studio. The studio inside the studio. This is basically where we film a lot of our DIY tutorials, especially the ones that are going to get messy. Mm -hmm. This is the designated sawdust zone. Exactly. Um, in here we have some tall curtains that we hung up, a little bit for aesthetics, but also for ideally some kind of soundproofing um, and maybe even some insulation during the winter. <laughs> but having this garage door has been a game changer. In our previous loft office space, we were on the second story and we had a tiny stairwell to walk up and down with all of the furniture and DIYs that we're taking on. We really needed a place that we could load in mm -hmm. by just rolling up our car, so it's been amazing. So in here is a drawer system that houses pretty much every DIY item, tool, supply that you could ever need. If you need any type of screw, I guarantee <laughs> I have it somewhere in here. Sandpaper, glue, all of that good stuff, it all lives in here. And I pretty much have every drawer memorized now and I know what's in all of them because mm -hmm. 
we've had this for so long. A pretty fun uh, <laughs> technique that we use whenever somebody new starts working with the Sorry Girls is we go like one, two, three. Wait, what do we do? Yeah. A, B, B C. C, one, two, three, four. So if I want to tell you that something's here, I'll say it's in C3. Becky, what's in B4 right now? One, two, three, four. Oh, this is like decor stuff, like dried plants and apothecary bottles, I believe. Am I right? Wow. Half right. Dried plants. Apothecary is, is C4. We also have our storage room that we built here, so it's kind of three-sided and you'll see it throughout the whole space. Finishing drywall is actually a pretty difficult task, like to get everything super smooth. So we did a win-win here, which is that we did a textured effect. This way we didn't have to perfectly smooth the seams of the drywall and it just adds a little bit more uh, visual interest when filming against it. Behind our arch door here is our storage room. It's definitely quite messy, but it does do the trick. <laughs> we have all of our tools in here, camera gear, paint, lots of DIY supplies, so much storage. Honestly, it's kind of embarrassing. But if your storage room is clean, like maybe I don't trust you because I don't know how you keep these spaces clean. It needs a big clean out at least once a year. So pretty much all of the really cool feature parts of this studio were not here when we moved in. It was just an empty brick cement space and this wall is no exception. This is a giant industrial type feature wall we worked together with a carpenter friend to make. We put this in as mostly like a visual separator between the messy workspace and the kitchen where you're eating and you want it to be clean. And fun fact, it's plexiglass. It's not real glass. It makes it more durable that way and it was cheaper to make it this way. And I just love how this works so well with the industrial vibe of the space, but is also kind of cool and modern. Let's head into the kitchen. So this kitchen was also not here when we moved in, but our landlord does specialize in kitchens. So with him, we built this out. We designed, you know, the cabinetry as well as the countertop, but we did put up the tile all by ourselves. This was actually our first time ever trying tile and I think it turned out pretty good for a first time. And we also added a curtain rod up top as a means of just visual interest and a way to have more storage and hang our pots. So these three tables we also put in when doing the kitchen. It just offers more seating around the office. People can come here and eat lunch, but they can also come here and do work when they're looking to get a different view, a different... Atmosphere. Atmosphere. This is a great place to do it. <laughs> Lighting is also something else that we had to bring to the space. So these lights, as well as the ones above the kitchen tables, are all something that we contributed to the space. And these ones, I think were 20 or $40, and I got them secondhand online, so that was a very proud find. Should we head into the bathroom? Dun, dun, I say it like that, dun dun dun, <laughs> because it used to be the scariest part of our bathroom. The befores of this space were a little horrendous. <laughs> This bathroom was an entirely gray, cement, very drab, depressing space to be in. So we thought it was a really good opportunity to do something a little bit more interesting and out there with our design choices. We wanted to go with like a really bold color and a really crazy wallpaper, something that we probably couldn't get away with in like one of the bigger spaces in the office, but we can in here because it's just a bathroom at the end of the day. And it actually turned out to be one of the coolest parts of the office in my opinion. And people always get a little bit of a surprise when they open the door and they're like, oh, oh, your bathroom is nice. <laughs> this is yet another timbre wall that we put up. It's just a little bit of a visceral separation between sitting on the toilet and using the sinks. Even though it is a one person bathroom, it's just still nice to have. And speaking of the sinks, we have two because this is the hand washing sink. And this is the paintbrush washing sink because we do a lot of painting and we need to clean brushes all the time. Do you want to tell them about our light feature in the bathroom? Yes, I will. So as you can see here on the outside, we have this light and this is Becky's idea because it's actually hard to tell when somebody's in the bathroom and you don't want to like open the door on them or you have to walk over here and knock. This way, when somebody's in the bathroom, the light turns on and you know if it's occupied. We do have a lock on this door, I will say that. But it's just awkward to knock when someone's in there, you know? Yeah, it's like, hello, occupado. <laughs> now you know. So 
outside of our bathroom, we have our vanity area. And obviously this was inspired because we want a vanity area to get ready for our videos. But also this was a pretty unusable corner. I think we made some good use of it. We have these floating shelves to just keep everything a low profile and we just bring our makeup and do it here. And we have a wardrobe rack here, which is helpful because sometimes we like to shoot more than one video per day and it's nice to have some extra wardrobe on hand. Okay, let me show you something else that I love about our office. And it's our little DIY dartboard here. Well, it's an upcycle. I mean, it's just a nice office flex to have a dartboard, but I am no expert. Let's see these skills. So this whole studio space was a work in progress and still kind of is. We documented every single space as a full makeover on our YouTube channel. You can go watch an episode of every single space come to life and subscribe if you enjoy the content. But I think this corner specifically was the thing that got changed the most and we didn't really land on what we were doing until the very end. And that's because it's just kind of been the place where the random furniture pieces go when we don't need them for makeovers. And for the longest time it was these chairs with some other chairs with some other things. And by the end we decided these were the chairs to keep. These were our best find ever. We got them secondhand. And this is just another seating area where people can also post up and do work. And we painted these giant freeform shapes on the wall, which I think just add more interest, more places to shoot against. And also back here is a giant, one of our biggest DIY projects we ever did. This massive mirror lives back here too. So let's head into the real boardroom of the office, the office of the office. We had this giant desk custom made to house our entire team at the time. We've since grown then, but originally it was made for six people. And the fun fact is that this is actually a kitchen countertop. It matches the one in our kitchen. So our landlord helped us do this. And it has this really nice waterfall feature on the front. And to work as the legs, we actually use these filing cabinets because it's a great way for everyone to have their own personal private space to house whatever work things they need with them. Back here on the wall is another really fun DIY project that we did. We did this really great wallpaper moment here with some old wallpaper that we actually ourselves tore up and stained <laughs> with tea because we wanted to mix that old timey feeling like it is such a vintage loft space, but also have it look cool and modern. Wallpaper is kind of timeless in my opinion. And on the wall is just a gallery wall of really cool art made by our amazing viewers and some of the awards that we've won over our career. You can see here, the elephant in the room is this giant flat screen and we use this to watch cuts of our YouTube videos. It's also really helpful to just throw up any design inspo or things that we're working on when we're planning rooms. This is a must have in any YouTuber studio space. Something else essential would be a whiteboard or in our case, a clear board. We just use some standoff hardware and some plexiglass, drilled some holes, and then you have what essentially is a whiteboard, but it's a lot more aesthetic. You get to see the wall texture through the whiteboard. And when there's nothing written on it, it's not an eyesore. It's just clear and it kind of disappears. Speaking of disappears, our backyard is a space that isn't quite so obvious when you arrive to our space, but it is through this little back hallway. Yes, we have a backyard. Okay, this is our backyard. This is the most recent space that we've completed and we're so, so happy with it. We did this giant bench to fit all of our team and then some, as well as some chairs around our, again, giant table. Lots of DIYs back here. And um, it definitely just rained and it's a little sunny, so maybe you'll see some shots from our recent video so that it looks a little bit cuter than right now. So all the way in this back corner is the more relaxed seating option in the backyard. We have this really great hanging egg chair that has moved with us from our old office into the new one. And it actually was an outdoor chair. We just never had an outdoor space before. And now we do, so it's out here living its best life. We also have this great hammock, which is another great chill spot. and our fire pit, which is a really fun feature to be able to use at night when we want to all hang out here together as a team. And in the night shots, you can see that the lighting really lights up the space. We have the pendant here, creates a whole vibe. And also outdoor mirrors are something that we're loving right now. So we included a distressed outdoor mirror. Okay, we're gonna head back inside now. It's hot. 
Thank you guys so much for watching our studio tour today. If you want to see more about what we actually produce here, make sure that you subscribe down below. And there is an entire playlist of videos that go over every single makeover that happened in here to take it from an empty cement garage to what it is now, which I'm pretty proud of and glad I could share it with you guys. Likewise. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.